Today we are going to talk about inks and why you should be using them. It only recently occurred to me that it seems that a lot of newer painters seem to not even know what inks are used for. And without evidence, I chalk that up to a lot of the paint companies now selling more straight out of the bottle washes, uh, things you just slap on and you're done with it. But there is so much more you can do with inks. Now, in case you haven't tried or even don't know what an ink is, uh, it is a very thin and high intensity uh, color. You can use them for glazes, for washes, mixing in with your paints. There is a whole lot that you can do with the inks. And here, I'm gonna show you how you can paint armor using inks. So to begin with, I have a little bit of blue ink mixed in with our steel metallic here, just to give it a little bit of a blue hue, very light. With our base coat applied, now we are gonna add some shade. However, we're gonna do that with color. We have our blue ink, we have it thinned about one to three ink to water. And I'm applying this uh, anywhere I want a little bit more color and a little bit more shade on the armor. I'm being a little bit generous, uh, not being super careful with the application because we're gonna clean it up at a later, later stage. Now, if you wish, you can apply this just as a wash and flood the miniature if you want. Uh, that's totally up to you. I do myself prefer a more precise application. So we have our first blue shade layer applied. Now we're gonna do a second shade layer for our steel armor, and that is violet ink. While the blue covered up a fairly large area of the armor, with the violet ink, we're applying that a bit more precisely, going for the deeper recesses, any area where we want a lot of shade on the model. Now, you could be doing this with paint. However, the benefit of using inks here is that the inks don't cover up as much as the of the metallic sheen as a paint would. Paints are much more opaque, even when thinned. So even in the shade layer here, you can still see some of the shine of our original steel color shining through. Our third ink application is going to be black ink. And this is much thicker than the other two. This is about one one ink to water thinned. And this is going just in the deep recesses, the deepest recesses. Essentially, this is a dark line or a black line between all the armor plates, between any area where the armor hits clothing or whatnot. So we get a nice crisp edge to all of our armor. Now we've done three applications of ink, and as you can see, our armor is still very, very shiny. If we did this with a paint wash or one of those more gelatinous shellac type wash out of a bottles that you can buy ready-made, that would take away the metallic sheen. It would leave the armor looking dull, but with the application of the ink, we don't have that issue. Now from here, we go back to our original stage of painting. I said when applying the blue ink, I wasn't being super precise about its application. That's because I actually prefer to put the blue ink wherever I think it might be needed, and then going back and reapplying the base coat to clean it up. So this is the same mixture that we used in the first step. However, it's a little bit thinner thinned with water here so we can slowly build up the color as needed and that means we if there's too much blue uh, we can adjust the amount of blue that's already on the miniature tint it up a little bit uh, towards the main highlights we can tint it all the way up to this mixture uh, just by building up those layers just like we would if we were layering
Our final color is straight steel, and believe it or not, this is our only highlight on the miniature. That's because all the other applications shaded our steel. So we started off with a very light steel color, and we proceeded to darken and color it. So for the highlights, and only the edge highlights, all we have to do is give a careful application of Vallejo Model Air Steel. So can you mix metallics with regular paint? Yes, you can. For the chainmail here, I'm mixing black paint in with the steel. And the reason for that is I don't want the chainmail to shine as much as our steel armor. So adding the black paint rather than black ink will actually take some of the sheen out of the steel. And in this case, if you're painting something like chainmail, uh, a broken up surface or iron is very good. You can simply add paint to your metallics to take out the sheen where necessary. Now, of course, this doesn't have to be exclusively for painting armor. We can use the exact same technique for painting brass or in this case, gold. In this situation, I mixed some glorious gold with brown ink I use that as my base coat, and now I'm doing the application of the shade with straight brown ink. Now once this dries completely, I'm going to reapply the brown ink. The reason is I don't want to add any black in this situation with this uh, particular model. I don't want to add any black to our gold, uh, but I need the brown a little bit darker so we can reapply the brown, double up the amount of shade on our gold. Just like with our steel armor, once we have our shade in place, we can go back and do some highlighting with our original glorious gold, this time again without the brown ink applied. So our glorious gold becomes the highlight for our glorious gold and brown mixture that we originally used. And of course, if we want some extra highlights, we can go ahead and apply them. In this case, adding a little bit of steel to our glorious gold for the edge highlights. Just remember whenever you're highlighting gold, don't overdo it because if you add too much of a silver or steel color, it really starts looking fake. So don't do that unless you really like the look. And there we have our finished cleric in her shiny steel armor. So there is a lot you can do with inks, far more than what I just covered here, but you can see how you can use them, especially with metallics, to tint them. And you can have a heavy tint. I could have done this a very blue and purple armor. This is a little bit light in this case, but you can add green. You could add you know different mixtures, go with browns, go with blacks whole world of opportunities if you just look into using inks and working them into your palettes. I think you'll get some great results and they're just wonderful to play with. Pick up some inks. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Fun, fun, fun! <laughs> yeah. that's, that's nice. Mom!